Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be checking out Octo's Varios DC pumps. Whether you're looking for a small DC utility pump with controllable flow for a reactor or a return pump for your larger reef tank, these Octo pumps should be high on your list. They are really affordable and pack in a lot of fantastic features, one of which I haven't seen on any other utility pump. DC return or utility pumps are becoming increasingly more popular than their AC counterparts. Not only are they much quieter and have a lower power consumption, but one of the biggest advantages of DC pumps is the ability to control the flow speed, making it much easier to tune the pump perfectly to your overflow system or dial in the flow just right to get the best performance out of your macroalgae reactor, bio pellet reactor, calcium reactor, you get the idea. Octo's Varios line of DC pumps have been around for a while now, but remain one of the most popular DC pump options thanks to their reliability, features, and phenomenal price. The Varios pumps give you more than just flow control. They also run incredibly quiet, have rubber feet to dampen any vibrations, come with standard PVC unions and barb fittings, have both 15 and 60 minute feed modes, and also have a controller that offers a zero to 10 volt port to connect your pump to an external aquarium controller, plus optional water level detection with that included float switch that I was talking about earlier. But before we get into all that, let's get it out of the box. In the box, you'll find the Varios pump, the controller, a pair of unions, the barbed adapter, O-rings, an intake screen, the float switch with its bracket, and the power supply. The Octo Varios comes in four models, the two, four, six, and eight, pushing roughly 800, 1,000, 1,700, and 2,700 gallons per hour, respectively, which is pretty impressive given their compact size. The two comes in right around five by three by four inches with a one inch inlet and outlet, while the largest model is only 5.7 by three and three quarters by five and a half inches with a one and a quarter inch inlet and outlet, making them a great option for anyone looking to run a pair of return pumps for redundancy or to provide flow to a reactor while being tight on space. Like most DC pumps, the maximum head height for the Varios lineup is exactly what you would expect and ranges from 13 feet to just under 19 feet of head height depending on the model, which might not be enough juice for filtration rooms a floor below the tank, but more than enough to provide plenty of flow on your average reef setup, even with a lot of plumbing fittings or longer horizontal runs of tubing. There are also skimmer versions of the Varios pumps available. For those looking to replace or upgrade their skimmer pumps, they boast the same features as the circulation pumps, but come standard with a venturi and fittings to hook up directly to their corresponding octo protein skimmer. These Varios pumps can also be run either internally or externally and include standard PVC unions for hard plumbing, which is great and saves you from having to buy a set separately, as well as barbed fittings for soft tubing and an intake screen to protect the pump from large debris when being used in sump. Not only are these pumps very compact and easy to fit in most return sections in your sump, but they're small enough that you can often fit a pair of these pumps in a standard sump, which is becoming increasingly more common for the added redundancy. They also have a rotating volute, which can come in handy and help with clearance in certain installations like a closed loop. Now, the Varios controller has a lot going for it. Beyond five speeds of flow control, 15 minute and 60 minute feed and maintenance modes, and a solid mounting bracket, the controller is also zero to 10 volt ready for controlling the pump through an aquarium controller like an Apex, Proflux, or Hydros, as well as an optional float switch safety to shut off the pump if the water level gets too low. This particular feature is really impressive, especially at the price points of these pumps. For example, if your ATO fails or you forget to top it off, the float switch will drop as the water evaporates in the sump and it'll shut off the pump to protect it from running dry. There is also a button to turn that feature on or off, which is gonna come in handy when you want to give the float switch a quick cleaning, but don't want the pump to shut off, or if you just don't intend to use the float switch. The Varios also has other safety features built in, including an auto shut off to protect the pump from electrical circuit abnormalities, as well as onboard memory to save your flow settings. So even after a power outage, your pump will resume its previous settings when power is restored. 
When it comes time for maintenance, the Varios pumps are quite easy to work with. The unions I mentioned earlier make it really easy to remove the pump even if it's been hard plumbed into the system, making a quick citric acid bath easy to perform. They can also be disassembled without any tools so that you can access and clean the impeller itself along with the impeller well and the pump housing, which is something I've always appreciated. I don't know anybody who likes having a set of rusty screwdrivers or hex wrenches lying around just for their reef tank. When you add it all together, it's not too surprising that these are one of the most popular DC options out there and why it's received so much love from the staff at BRS as well as other reefers like you and was crowned the most reliable and tied for most popular pump in our best of the year series. If these Octo Varios DC pumps match your reefing mantra like they match ours, you can go ahead and pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.